Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Radostina and I'm a digital illustrator and today I'm going to show you how to draw a spruce tree in Adobe Illustrator. Last week we drew a spruce tree as well but it was a very basic and simple one and this week we are going to step it up a little bit and make something a little more realistic looking. We are still going to use pretty much the same tools and techniques like last week but with a little more of pen tool. Still, this is a very basic tutorial and very beginner friendly, so everyone should be able to follow along without no problem. So let's just get into it. Our model will be something like this. So I want to show the individual branches, the overall shape. Again, we are not going for complete realism. What we will make will be more of a symbol of this sort of tree. But it will be real enough that the viewer can recognize it. We're going to start with a stroke. Let's start with in black. And I'm going to, to grab the line segment too. I'm just going to draw a vertical line. I'm holding down shift so I'm sure that it's 100% straight down. This is going to be our trunk. I'm going to give it width profile and as last time we are going for this triangle. We're going to increase the width and we're going to flip this profile so that the thick part is on the ground. This will be the ground. Let's make it a little thicker. So this time we're going to grab the pen tool. We are not going to work with straight lines like here, but as I said, to achieve a little bit more of an organic look, we are going to curve the branches this time. So, start here on top and I'm going to start by placing an anchor point on this path that we made already and then I'm going to hold and drag down a little bit and then I'm seeing this line that sort of shows me what will happen when I place the point. Now I want to curve it a little bit more so I'm going to click and hold and drag this handle a little bit up so it curves like that, like this. This here that you see attached it's more of a prediction of what is going to happen if I click and place the, the next point somewhere. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and click outside. So that's all that there is going to be to this path. I'm not continuing it. I'm just cutting it off. And this little branch that we put here is sort of somewhere here, this part of the tree. Now I'm going to make a couple more of these. I'm placing those little branches a little bit randomly or I'm trying to make it look random. I'm just trying to imagine what a real tree looks like and sort of follow that pattern. Next thing, we want to select those smaller branches and we're going to give them the same triangular width prof profile make them a little thicker it's better to work with each one individually let's get closer and yeah this is fits best this one can get a little thicker no two is fine this we can make a little thicker The width can vary, so it's a bit more realistic, like this. And then, we're going to do something different. We will select those middle branches. And this time we are going to give them this sort of uh, profile, which is sort of like a half ellipse. And... Also, we want to change the cap to round cap and the corner to round corner. There are actually no corners, so we don't really need this, but I just like to change both of them. This is uh, in the stroke panel right here. And now we're going to go closer and work with each branch a little, branch a little bit individually. Oh, I missed this one. I didn't give this one the profile. 
and what's gonna happen we'll see now when we increase the stroke we're getting a bit more of a branch silhouette shape you know trying to sort of represent this, this sort of shape up here they don't need to be very thick something like that maybe we can move it a little bit to the side a little bit back this is getting a bit crazy but I just like this to be smooth and a little more so going to increase the width on all of these give them a bit of a body and you know can adjust each one individually a little bit if that's needed I'm going to speed up this part as well because I'm just going to do the same thing over and over. Now you'll notice that some uh, some of those branches sort of the thickness of the line grows on the down side and that's actually what I want and in some cases it grows on top of it and I'm not really sure why why that is I haven't figured out what defines uh, which way it's gonna grow I could notice that on the left side they're behaving as I want them to and on the on the right uh, they go the other way I try to switch it here oh wait actually i'll try this oh that's where this is well you just watched me learn something that's great so now i can actually fix them and make them work as i want them to yeah i think that looks nice you'll notice that there are some like holes here and there but that's okay because real trees are not perfect you'll notice here for example that both sides they are not perfectly symmetrical well i think it's perfectly fine to leave it as it is i think it looks pretty good already i'm going to go a step further and make it a little more realistic so i'm going to select all of those half moon shaped branches and i'm going to go into object path and outline stroke <coughs> So now I turn them from strokes into shapes and next thing I'm going to change the stroke color because that's that's not really too important what color you choose it's just going to help us better with orientation where we are and what we are doing and we're going to make some strokes going sort of cutting inside <coughs> sorry these branches like this we're going to select them change the profile into our triangle that we've used before if you don't know what i mean by the way you can go and watch the last week's video it's even simpler than this going to give some a little more width than others yeah this is pretty tiny branch so i think this is fine maybe give another a little hole in here we select those we outline the strokes the same way and we also add to the selection the branch we go to the pathfinder and again we choose the minus front option which cut out those shapes and now it looks even more like a pine branch you can't really see it that that well because this is really small when I zoom out but I know it's there and I can see the little the little teeth there and I like that when we make it on this one it's going to be more noticeable so just choosing a random cover just so I can see better what I'm doing and this part like uh, this this thing that I'm doing right now it's totally random or as random as you can make it 
So this part can take a bit of a while and since you do it over and over and over it can get a bit annoying but over time you will get quicker. Yeah, to select the, all of them I just select one and go to select, same stroke color and then I have all of them. Outline them, we select both and we cut out these shapes. A little bit of adjustment there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same with all of those branches. And now that this is done, this is what this tree looks like. Pretty good in my opinion. I'm just going to move some of the branches a bit. Yeah, I think I just want to add one dry branch in here. This is mostly just finishing touches. Yeah, that's nice. And that's it. Now, maybe let's give it a little bit of color. What color should we choose this time? We can select all the strokes and let's, uh, let's go ahead and outline them. Now select the whole thing and group it. Control G. This way we can change the color all at once. Let's go inside and actually select all the bare branches. And we'll give them a bit of a deeper color. Let's just do it from here. Deeper, darker color. Hmm. We can also control shift and left square bracket to bring that to the front. Let's select some of the branches. And then again, control shift right square bracket, bring these to the front, move them a little bit. For a bit of a 3D effect. We don't really need to do that, I'm not sure how much I like it, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. And there we go, that's the tree. Click twice to get out of the group selection. And now if we take this and bring it to those two, you can see already that this is much more close to reality. So I think that personally I, I probably would use both of those in, this, in the same illustration. While something like this, I will push back into the background where you don't see that much detail anyway. And something like this uh, can just be closer to the foreground because of its more realistic look. Or you can uh, go for one of those looks and just use only that. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was not too difficult to follow along. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. And if you want to show me what you made, just tag me on Instagram, I'm at foreignDead and would love to see what you made. Also, here are a few more examples of trees I made with the same technique. So really, there is no limit to what you can make, just your imagination. Go wild and make your own little forest. Next week I'm going to show you how to make a pine tree. And yes, this time I do mean a pine tree, like an actual regular pine tree. Yeah, I've been a bit mixed up with what is a spruce and what is a pine, but now I know. And the week after that we are going to put all these trees to good use and organize them in nice and finished background illustration. So this is going to be really exciting and I hope you join me for that. If you don't want to miss those next tutorials, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Until then, have fun!